How girls said no hookups to you, but did anyway. Percent. How girls said no. What the fuck? Ultra. Uh, here, let me let me reiterate this. How many girls said no to hookups to you, but they did it anyway? So on Tinder, and I, we'll, we'll move into that subject here in a second. On Tinder, okay. Yes, almost every girl said they are not into hookups. And yes, there was. I, I hung out with over a hundred girls on Tinder over two three years, and I hooked up with hung everyone. Out? Yeah, hung out. And I hooked up with every single one of them on the first time they came to my house, except for three. Why and those three? No idea, but I liked them a little bit more. Wow. I did end up hooking up with. One Why of them. do you wait to hook up with someone you like a little more? I didn't wait. They waited. Oh. No, but all the other girls. Most of them wait. waiting made you like them more. A little bit, but it didn't really matter. Um, because I, you know, it never really led anywhere. But now, dude, girls would come over. It. I don't know how you girls think. How old are you, Chrissy? 30? 29? Yeah, I'll take it. Are you like thirty eight? Whatever you think. Kind of sounded like whatever you think I look like is the age anyway. I am. Okay, so I don't know what the what the hell is wrong, with girls. But when I was on Tinder, every girl generally was around 21 to 24 that I hooked up with, except for like a couple 26, 27. Um, the oldest girl I ever hooked up with was 27, I think. And that's over the hill. That yeah, it is too much, too old. So they would show up and I was very timid. I never make moves because I don't care. I honestly I like just hanging out and watching movies and drinking. I don't really care if anything happened, but it always did. And I would sit on my couch and I would just be drinking a little. And oh, it's so hard being an attractive guy. And, uh, the hookups just happen. Yeah, well, look, I'm also not like weird and awkward <laughs> and dumb. I don't like get all creepy around women like some dudes do. I have dude friends. Yeah, women. Cool. Are, you just thought women are really passionate about watching TV. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just I'm chill, man. Like I, I have a lot of dude friends, and they're they'll be super cool. I'm like, damn, you, how can you, why can't you find a girl? You're cool as fuck. But when they get around girls, they get really fucking weird. They're like, uh, uh, so, uh, how was your day? You're really pretty. Uh, uh, and I'm like, what the fuck? No, just be, treat them like a freaking human, you creepy bastard. I so think because you, right, there's not a lot of experiences with girls. So each one is like really meaningful. You just need to like do it more. It's like lift, living a hefty weight or, or like. Yeah, no anything else it, like do it so much that every like doing stand-up comedy the first few times you get on stage you're like oh my god you're nervous you forget all your shit but like the more you do it the more it's less of a big deal yep exactly so i would be sitting there i'd be drinking and now let's i gotta preface this with a little bit of something i got so used to it and i stopped caring because the unfortunate truth is you find out like uh, most women are very similar so i would just message girls that i would hook i would match with and I would match with a lot of women. Um, and I always put my ab, my picture of my freaking shredded eight pack. Dude, I, <laughs> that was like my first picture every time. And um, I would put a stupid bio that was just so stupid. It would be That's rant. a red flag. I would never yeah. swipe on someone with an ab pic. Anyways, Chris, so I did that. <laughs> and I would message these girls and I'd be like, hey, what's up? And or I would say something stupid and witty because saying hey immediately puts you in last place because that's what every guy is saying. Um. So I would message them and they would, I would message back and forth three or four messages. And I was like, Hey, if you like, you want to come over tomorrow night? And I got, you know, tequila and we'll watch like Lord of the Rings or something. Wait, do you just have them come over for a first date? You wouldn't yes, they meet would at a restaurant or a lunch? Dude, every girl with the exception of a handful showed up at my house without ever meeting me. I never kept my lights on in the bottom part of my oh. house. You know what? Because you were my... attracting horny babes because you have an <laughs> ab picture. They're like, Oh, sex. Let's do it. Pitch black. Chrissy. They would come to my house, pitch black, and they would open the door, and I'm in the darkness. And I'm like, what's up? You gotta expect oh, to get max murdered a little. I could have killed them. I could have. But now I got caught, for sure. But so, and they would just come up to my room, and I would sit in my dirty-ass game room in my, my stained-ass couch, and I'd turn on Lord of the Rings and start drinking, and I would just goof mm -hmm. off and have a good time. And these girls would, you know, they would drink a little, you know, and they, like, they would slowly like lean over. And just like put their head on me and then Imagine start. Imagine if a girl just, posted hot me. photos of them in their underwear on their dating profile and send to a guy, hey, come over. We're just going to watch TV. Yeah. You're going to attract people who just want to hook up or yeah. definitely want to hook up. Like you're yeah. putting that out there. Like you're putting your, your sexuality. You're like, this is, I mean, <laughs> not, I'm not trying to sound like a prude. Like, Ew, you shouldn't want to hook up, but it's like, you're literally putting it out there that you want to hook up right away. 
Yeah. And so don't be shocked when you're attracting all women that want to hook up right away. Look, I, I agree. And I only wanted to hook up too. I was not in looking for girls. That's not how I, I'm, yeah, I'm still not like that shit. Um, but yeah, it was it was just it just happened so often that I stopped eventually. I, I del- deleted the app a few years ago because it got boring. Um, because it was just the same shit. A new girl, and they were always they seemed out of my league. Um, be- uh, as far as attraction based, they were always so attractive, but they were fucking boring. They were just boring as fuck. They had no interest. Their interest was wine and Netflix. Like every one of them, wine, Netflix. That was their maybe hawking, maybe, and it got boring. So I stopped doing it, but it was, I could not believe the amount of women that me just saying, Hey, you want to come over and drink that would, the amount of women that said yes and just showed up was unbelievable. And I understand now why women get killed in foreign countries. hundred percent. Yeah. You can't lead with your cooch. You can't let, let your cooch make all those decisions for you. Yeah. I did meet a lot of really cool girls though. Doing like, there was a lot. And of- you're this horrible combination of like, good looking and like you don't have a rapey face like you seem friendly and not rapey and those are exactly the kind of people who rape you yes. like i'm the boy next door with six pack abs oh my god it's, 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 first message disgusting you have- you're using your powers for evil and you know it rapey. and they're like no and i'm like all right cool you want to come over oh. Why do I have so much luck with women? It's so weird. Ah. Yeah, well, speaking of that, um, so I've kind of compiled this percentage roughly in my head. But when I was on Tinder, and I'm not, I'm sh- I shit you not, I'm not exaggerating. About 65, 70% of these women had boyfriends or husbands. <gasps> what? I'm not even joking. One time. How do you know? They told you? They well, they would tell. They always told me after I, I smashed their ass. They always told me after, and it was it's so hilarious. But anyway, that being said, no scruples on these women. Yeah, this this one girl, she came over. Is an Asian girl. She was like 20, 21, 20, 19. I don't remember. She she's a young girl. Um, and I was like twenty eight. Come on, give me a little little, little break here. And um, she comes over. And she, she's this, she now, look, she looked kind of just average in the face, but her body was banging. It was weird. And she comes over, and of course, like, she pops her drawers off immediately, of course. <laughs> and I, like, I, I wreck. The slobber pocket was freaking a faucet, too. It was wild. <laughs> and, I, and I think I know why. It's because it was a dangerous situation. So I'm, like, I'm just hitting. And uh, she leaves or whatever the next day. And she comes over again, like two days later, because I'm like, I'm definitely, I need to hit that again. So she comes over, and I'm just, I hit, I'm smashing, right? And then, you know, we get done, and I'm like, hey, let's hang out and watch movies and shit. Because I, I, like I said, I, I liked hanging out with them. It wasn't about smashing, but they always wanted to smash. Um, so she's sitting on my couch, and I'm sitting on my couch, and she's like, she's just sitting there, and we're watching whatever, and she's like, oh my god, and I'm like, what? And she's like, my boyfriend's about to be here, and I'm like, what? Like I was like, what the fuck's happening? And um, she's like, yeah, I gave him my address. I gave him the address because he was pressuring me. And I, he just said, just in case, like, I needed help. Because um, I said I was what? hanging out. With, she said she was hanging out with a friend. And this son bitch shows up because he sh- probably should have. Let's be honest. So this dude shows up. And he's like 20. He's young. And I'm like a freaking, I'm like a 29-year-old man. And he comes in my house and sits on the couch beside beside me i'm in my chair and he's in his couch and he's on my couch oh, and he's like what are your intentions for my girlfriend yeah. <laughs> no no it was way worse she's sitting over there on the far end of the couch beside the wall on her phone like hiding her face and oh, so this she's dude, acting sus she's fuck yeah and this dude starts crying to me <laughs> to me and he's like i'm just so afraid and she's going to cheat on me, and I don't know what to do, and I just thought I should come here, and I was just so afraid. And I was like, dude. I was like, why do you smell like her pussy? I was, <laughs> I was like patting him on the back, and I'm like, dude, look, I'm going to be honest with you. This it's is not happened. this is not going to be your last relationship you're in. I'm uh, like, you're, you're 20 years old. You know, you're a young dude. You know, don't get too hung up on this because you got a big life ahead of you. And okay, I'm so this person him, lacks so much self awareness. Yeah, like, and I'm geez. and I'm telling him this because I'm like, dude, I just smashed this bitch. Like this girl sitting here, I just fucking just what the fuck. And but I, obviously I didn't say that, but I'm like, dude, this is definitely not this is not your last relationship. Do not worry about this. Just move on. Just just do what you need to do. You know, if you feel weird about things, maybe try to take a break. And you know, and I'm saying this in front of her, so he leaves with her, and I hung out with her. And she's like. like 
<laughs> I, I, ended, I hung out with her again like three weeks later. Oh, but, uh, God. I didn't, you no, have no scruples. I didn't smash or piss her, though, that, that when I hung out with her again. We just hung out and we talked about what happened. It was like kind of like a weird, fun thing. Um, now, I got to preface this whole conversation, try to go back a little. I was a shitty person back then. My wife had just left. I didn't give a fuck. I was like, I'll fuck who? I don't give a fuck. So and that's, you were like coming out of being fat for a while, right? Yeah, yeah. When I was, when I, I got real shredded, and then my wife left, which is weird. So, oh, um, wow. Anyways, so she leaves with her dude, and she can't. She comes back eventually. But I saw a few months ago on Instagram him and her, like she posted a picture with him, and this was this is like seven years ago, right? So, well, no, that's not right. It's about five years ago, and she's so stayed her, together. We're still together. Wow. And I'm thinking to myself. Maybe How you were her, she, her last fling before she realized she had to settle down and make good decisions. Doubt it. And I say doubt it because about four or five times throughout the years, when I had when I started doing YouTube and I was real busy with YouTube, she she would message me wanting to hang out. And I was like, ah, you know, I'm real busy. And for one, because I've come out of the period of really I didn't I wasn't interested in like being that dude that smashed the dude's chick. I wasn't interested in that anymore. Um and two, YouTube, dude, I was doing YouTube 24-7. And I was like, nope, I, I, I didn't, dude, I, I, I deleted Tinder and everything. So fuck this. Because I had like a few, uh, a couple hookups that I knew kind of regularly that I would, you know, so I could just hang out with them and hook up if I wanted to, to get that like itch, I guess. But I, I focused on YouTube like full throttle for years. Um, so I got out of that whole game, but it was wild. It was wild. I mean, there was, there was plenty of married women and they would always, if they told me before, they would tell me, oh, he knows. We, we're in an open relationship. Uh, and then yeah. I would smash the pisser. And she'd be like, come inside me. Because, you know, fucking gross. And, what? And then they would be like, oh, by the way, so-and-so doesn't know. So don't, don't fucking. I'm like, whoa, 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 hold on. You know? Yuck. These people need Jesus. Yeah, dude. It was, and it was, dude, it was every girl. It was every girl. It was freaking crazy, man. It's crazy. Where do, you, do you live somewhere where there's not good enough good-looking men? Like, where... I live, in a, I live in a college. I live in Huntsville, Alabama. And it's okay. A, it's yeah, like a, probably every guy there is in a motorized cart. Yeah, it's engineering. It's an engine. It's like the engineering fucking capital. Yeah. So like every girl, every girl here is 21, 24. They're going to college. And oh. They're, dating, they're get, dating some freaking frumpy dude every time. Yes. You're like and, the old. Sorry. I mean, no offense, but you're like the best thing in town. And, and I'm like, like a redneck. Oh. I'm the redneck gym guy. That okay. like lives alone in his fucking like big old fat house. And they right, just, and you and you have a non-threatening face, so yeah. Yes, very not grapey, luckily. Mm -hmm. And I'm not, dude. I, I'm, I wait for them to make moves. I don't fucking do nothing. I just sit back and let my face do all the work. 